All right, YouTube, what's going on? It's Mesa back at it with some Destiny 2. All right, we got a boatload of stuff to cover in this video, so sit back and enjoy the ride. There was a TwitchCon panel with Deej, Ryan, and Steve, who were from the Bungie Live team, where they discussed a number of things, and I took a zillion notes. I have them all written here. I recorded the whole thing, but I'm not going to upload it. I, I, we're going to bullet point everything and go through it. Tell you straight up, the dawning is coming back. That was the holiday live event we had with Destiny One. Also, Iron Banner is getting some changes where we're not going to just be cashing in tokens. We'll be able to buy some stuff with tokens and legendary shards. So much of this revolves around seasons. Right now, we're in season one of Destiny Two. There's going to be season two. Now, keep in mind, we're gonna. I'm gonna show you some new stuff, some new armor, some new weapons, things like that. Um, there is going to be another Iron Banner. That's still going to be Season 1. There's going to be another Faction Rally. That's still going to be Season 1. But we do get a preview of what's going to happen in Season 2 with regards to live events. Now, Deej does bring up the fact that we are getting a DLC in the winter of 2017. Of course, no date. I'm speculating, and most people are speculating, more than likely the beginning of December. I'm saying December 5th. Because that's when everyone else was saying that. That's when the cold heart is going to be available for everybody. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section. All right, let's get into this. So besides for my notes that I have here, I'm just crinkling them for you. I got like 20 pages of them right now. I'm also going to go through Bungie Informer on Twitter. He's a good friend of mine. He's part of my clan. He bullet pointed everything too. So I'm going to link his Twitter in the description. So we're going to go through my notes and also his bullet points. So first off, with regards to seasons, each season, everyone's going to start fresh. Each clan is going to start fresh. They're doing that because, well, we have PC folks coming on board. New people have joined clans. They stated that in their analytics, 80% of players in Destiny are within clans. That's a good thing. So each time a new season kicks on, uh, everyone's going to start fresh. It's going to go right back to zero, and that new season's going to kick in with all the new rewards, new gear, new things to do. So what are the goals of the seasons? Well, the seasons are meant to focus players in Destiny 2 and let them know when to come back and play the game when there's some new content. So there's going to be four seasons in a year for Destiny 2. Each season is meant to make, quote-unquote, big changes in Destiny 2. Each season is going to provide these common things. Changing themes for player experience, sandbox tuning, new features, more content, etc. So there's going to be big changes with each season. Now, one thing Ryan mentioned, uh, Ryan from Bungie, he kept talking about like the Cabal for Season 1. So more than likely, what the vibe I was getting from him was that Season 2 is going to be about something else. And that thematically, the maybe the tower, the entire world, everything like from a theme perspective will change. And that's where I'm speculating, okay, if the next story to be told is going to be the Vex, probably the tower, probably everything we do within season two is going to revolve around the Vex. That's me speculating. Next up, the dawning is coming back. Now the dawning in Destiny 1, that was the holiday event. We had Sparrow Racing, we had all sorts of little things we could do within the tower, a uh, little quest we can go on. Well, it's definitely coming back. And one thing they brought up is that there's going to be tower ice hockey and also snowball fights in the tower and at the uh, the farm actually they also said something that snowballs will be added across the game and including strikes and other activities out and about in the world now the dawning is also going to be adding shaders armor weapons emotes so forth now in season two iron banner is going to change but hey our next iron banner that's going to be the same just like we played the last one meaning turn in tokens to try to get gear we still have one more iron banner before season two kicks in season two they're going to change the loot system okay they're going to offer weapons and you can direct purchase them using tokens and legendary shards they didn't go into any detail but i am very happy to hear that i got lucky on my hunter and got the full set with cashing in about 300 tokens uh, maybe like 350 got the full set got all the weapons except for two of them that i didn't even care about i got the hand cannon i got the auto rifle got the pulse rifle i was happy camper but pretty cool so we'll be able to buy weapons and stuff this time now in season two iron banner ornaments are going be hitting the armor and guess how you're gonna unlock them by in-game challenges so not by buying them or anything or just randomly getting them no he said that each piece of armor is gonna have an ornament and they're gonna have some sort of challenge in season two associated with it he didn't really speculate on it but it could just be like a complete x amount of games and you'll unlock the ornament for this glove or something like that get x amount of kills you unlock the ornament so i think that's a really cool addition all right we get ornaments and you just do things play the game you want the ornaments play the game now they also said they're going to be adding some more weapons to iron banner so the weapons we had before those aren't the only ones we're gonna get some new ones they didn't really go into detail but they did say an energy hand cannon they did throw that on screen and just talk about it just briefly but nothing specific they said new weapons they said new perks 
Trials of the Nine is also going to have ornaments for each season too, and they kind of hinted at the same thing. More than likely, you're going to have to do some challenges. I'm not 100% sure on that one. I know Iron Banner, you do challenges to unlock the ornaments on your Iron Banner gear, but it seems like they're doing the same thing with the Trials of the Nine gear also. But they did want to stress, guys, okay, we are getting new weapons for Trials of the Nine and Iron Banner, and they're going to have different perks with the different seasons within the year. It's going to be four seasons. Also, Faction Rallies is coming back, and we're going to see some different weapons and different gear. So I'm throwing on screen right now just a couple of pictures of the gear and weapons. We see a line rifle this time, different auto rifle. We can see Future War Cult actually kind of looks better than expected. I don't know. Everyone was cheering when they threw that on screen, and Dead Orbit looks morbid as always. And uh, keep in mind, guys, a lot of this Deej wanted to stress is uh, these are concept art images here. So this might not be the final builds of everything. So take it with a grain of salt. Now, there's a new thing called Clarion Call that's going to debut in Season 2. Now, that's going to give you double XP when you play with a clan mate. You're saying, why do I want double XP? Well, you're going to want to have Bright Engrams because they're adding a lot of new stuff each season to what you can get from those Bright Engrams. Now, Clarion Call events, they're not always going to require clan collaboration, but the first one's going to function where you need to participate with someone in your clan, play the game while you're playing with them, you get double XP. And you're going to want to do this because they're, at, they're basically removing, and we'll get to the Bright Engrams and everything. They're going to be taking away all these old stuff like exotic ships, they're going to be putting new exotic ships, sparrows, ghosts, removing the old ones in each season, putting all new ones in. So, let's just move on to the Bright Engrams. So, Apparently, when the new season kicks in, most of the stuff, they were kind of unclear about that. I think most of the stuff, not all, if not all, the old stuff that you would get from Bright Engrams will be gone and replaced with all new stuff. New emotes, new ships, exotic ships, sparrows, exotic sparrows, ghost shells, all sorts of new stuff. So if, you, if you're missing some things that you're trying to get right now, you might want to play the game a lot so you can get those Bright Engrams and get those uh, exotic emotes. I, th I think I have all the exotic emotes, and I think I have all the exotic ships by now. And no, I didn't pay for them, right? I just play the game a lot, and I got Bright Engrams, and I got everything. But there's just a host of new things to grind for when you actually just play the game. So remember, Clarion Call in Season 2, when that hits, when you play with a climate, you get double XP. So when you're doing things, you're going to get more Bright Engrams, basically. Now, with each season, we're going to get new shaders. Now, the old shaders are not going to disappear, and they did bring up the fact about mass deleting shaders, what to do with that. They said they're looking into it, or they hear us loud and clear. But we're going to get new shaders, shaders that are old. They're not going to disappear. Uh, also, we're getting new Crucible maps. So Season 2 is going to add another map. They kind of talked about how, like, when the uh, world's first for the Leviathan raid, uh, we got a new Crucible map. Uh, they introduced a new map with Trials of the Nine. Then once that went live, then it went into regular rotation. So they want to be, they want to add new Crucible maps throughout each season. Now they also discussed at the end that with regards to the clan, right? So when you rank up your clan and you start to get all these perks that are on your clan banner, well, with uh, each season you're going to get new ones, right? So new season hits, season two hits. You're going to have a brand new selection of perks that are going to be on that. They did not say what they are. We'll have to see when season two hits. Also, you want to stay tuned because in November, Bungie said they're firing up their Twitch studios and they're going to have three live streams. They didn't say the dates or anything just yet, but we're going to have three streams from Bungie. What am I reading into that? DLC. More than likely, they're going to reveal the next DLC expansion, which as Deej said, winter 2017, which I'm predicting December, early December, maybe the first week of December, December 5th. Uh, so more than likely, they're going to reveal all that stuff on stream from Bungie Studios. So that's going to do it for the video, guys. If I missed anything, I will leave it in the comment section or the pinned comment up top and also in the uh, description. And for the hashtag made it to the end crowd, all right, guys, you know what? I haven't talked about Endgame. I'm going to talk about it right now, all right? Everyone's been haranguing me, uh, well, slamming me for liking this game. Um, and why am I not bashing it? All right. You want my straight up opinion? Here we go. Destiny 1 was a good game that got better over time from DLC to DLC. Destiny 2 is an amazing base game that will get better over time. I'm not worried about it at all. So I need to scream, it should have been prepared by now. It should have been ready. Uh, I don't give a flying fuck. It's a good base game. It's going to get better. I, I have no worries whatsoever about Destiny 2. Everyone's like, oh, time to find a new job, find a new game. No, I'm not worried at all. Destiny 1 was a very good game, and it got really good over time. They listened to us. Destiny 2, it's a great base game, man. I like it, and I think it's going to get better over time, and they'll listen to us. I'm not worried about it at all. 
In fact, I like it. I like the downtime. I spend more time training Muay Thai, and I spend more time with my girlfriend. Sorry for the ranting, but this is especially for the hashtag made it to the end. Do me a favor, guys. Drop a like in this video only if you see fit. Follow me on the Twitter, at MesaShawn. Check out my stream. Usually, no, it's on YouTube, and that's it. I'm out of here, like Vladimir.